Yeah. Okay, so everyone wants to be in a band. Do they? No. But let's pr pretend that everyone wants to be in a band for a bit. And we're talking about bands of different levels and how um, how do you get people in your band? Like the auditioning level, the joining nope. of a band. Nope. The, um, it's sort of a juggling act. And it's I always equate it to a marriage without sex, which is what a marriage a is. A marriage. So... <laughs> It's just, it's just so, like it. So it's kind of like that. That's um, that's kind of my, my feelings about bands because it is. It's very personal. You get up in each other's grills. Um, so it's an important task. So um, let's let's talk about your experiences first. Let's uh, what, what what do you think? You've had some bands. I've had a band or two. Let's talk Been about your in band. A band or two. My particular band. Well, I mean, you know, it's funny because we were talking about like auditions. I've never done that. It's all. I, mean, I feel like you get to a certain point. And this is why it's so important to be out and be involved in like the scene or, you know, go to shows, meet other musicians. Because for me, it's always, you know, I've come across this guy or I played with him for another artist, you know, and I liked him. And key is I liked him. I think they're cool to hang out with. I don't think they're dicks. <laughs> I don't think we can say that. Hey, well, you just did, so we said it. Don't be a dick. Um, um. And then, I mean, because, you know, you get to a level where everyone is sort of a competent player. And sometimes being likable and maybe singing a harmony as opposed to being like the greatest player in the world. But sometimes you don't have to be the greatest player. You just have to fit in, yeah, in, in the Yeah, because we were place. talking about that earlier. Sometimes you know? like you'll sacrifice like playing skill for like if they have some utilitarian abilities like background vocals. Yeah. Or if that cat plays bass and he can also play, or let's say he's a keyboard player and he yes. can play trumpet and yes. can sing background vocals. Yes. That's my fantasy person. If you exist out there you in the world, to. call us right now. It's like some people like up. like you know cosplay girls. Like we're into like dudes that play keyboards, trumpet, utility players. We just want <laughs> utility players. You don't have like, to be good at any of them. Just like you're just okay, okay at, all at three things, yeah. you're the coolest person in the room, 100. percent You could be the best guitar player. Eh. And, and part of that, one of those things is not even like pragmatic. It's just fun. Like if you're just fun on stage. Yes. The crowd does not know. You know what I mean? They would rather see you, you're, you're fun. It's just fun. So yeah, that, that's part of like, so your band, what you were saying is in summary, um, in summation, that's my legal speak, um, that like you meet a lot of people just through the, the network that you've developed. Yes. Now I've been through the audition cycles from like both sides, from auditioning for bands to being the auditioner. Yeah. And it's um, in one of my bands in New York that was popular for a second, I think we went through almost 30 bass player auditions until we found the right one. And it was, um, it was, we would meet these people at a, at a cafe and like, it, sometimes you, it's just first instinct. Like if you see somebody and you're just like scared of them, they'd come, Hey, are you the guys from X Y nope. band? Yeah, it was, no, we're not. No, I never heard of it. You guys look, you looks like the description. I'm like, that's mm. not us with the funny hair and the glasses Beat and it, pal. the black shirt. <laughs> this is when we were young and attractive a long time ago. A long time. Um, yeah, so they, but then like you'd go through the audition of like just, and a big part of it was, you know, the playing had to be there. But back in like the young days when you're all in your young 20s and like you're in a scene, like this is New York City during that whole strokes explosion, there was the biggest like, style and look aspect to it. And it was like we all wanted to have a cohesive, not just look, but musical background yes. as far as what we liked. Like, oh, if you like X, Y, and Z bands and we're playing an X, Y, and Z type of band, this is probably going to be a good fit. It probably works. And we were looking for similar things in that respect. And then like, sometimes you found something that was, we had, I remember that drummer that was like a jazz sort of Rocky drummer, totally opposite, but he was perfect. You know, it just happens. A lot of the Nashville bands is funny because you'll have totally different backgrounds, but you've come together and the, the place was the Were you talking like the, the Tootsies factor. and all that sort yeah, of Yeah, like Broadway going Broadway. Well, even playing for like guys on the road. Well, what's funny is all the time that I was in Nashville, I got a gig through sort of an audition and then we auditioned some players after that but it was never like that it was literally you come down to second fiddle on thursday when we we're playing and you would sit in <laughs> and then you were either good or not yeah because like, <laughs> our, our, like, yeah. like when i had to audition for bands it was like you'd go into their music rehearsal space yeah, in right. new york and then like they they'd be going through a few people that day maybe nick your time is at four o'clock you show up you bring out your guitar you, and hopefully they had a rig for you because i wasn't going to lug my rig around in a yeah. cab for an audition and um and then you play and they either like you or they don't and they kind of they like you based on like if they think you're cool if you can play if you're gonna fit in the band yeah and it was um but then we talk about bands that are just forming out of out of nothing 
you know, like um, that's different, right? Like especially if you're really young, you're starting out. It's your first band, a little bit, a little bit. It, if it's thing. your first band, play with anyone you can play with. That's my philosophy. As much as you can play, even if you're completely opposite styles, you like country, you like metal, play. Doesn't matter because like play finding music. finding someone that can play an instrument that you're not playing, that's pretty rare. So so join it. It's I remember my young bands. It was like I was in an REM cover band. I didn't even like REM at that point. I was I was in a Leonard Skinner cover band with a bunch of older cats. I didn't even like Leonard Skinner at that point in my life. Yeah. I just wanted to, whatever band I could be in, and now I respect both those bands in, immensely because um, I'm not a stupid teenager anymore, which I was. Thank God. I was a teenager for a long time, exactly Sweet. like you know, like seven-ish years. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's sort of in that ballpark. Um, no, so it's 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 tricky though. It's um, it's it is. It's then once you form the band, it's like keeping it together. That's a whole other video, but we're not going to talk about that now. It's um, the formation of it's really fun though. It I like fun. it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it even as like a grown up, you know, old guy. Like you know, compared to my teenage years of seven years, um, being I've been in a few bands and it's been insane just for fun. It's been fun. Like guys, that's like. You know, from heart surgeon to electrical engineer to building contractor. Um, speaking of that, one of the good things is it, you want to have people in the band that are not high all the time, yeah. unless you're a band that is high all the time. <laughs> <laughs> there is a level. There is a, like a you know, got a function. I wasn't like in a fish and Grateful show Dead cover band that like everyone was high the whole time, except for me because I was pretty lame back then. But um, you go to practice, you play one song, then the rest of it's like everyone's smoking weed and playing FIFA. That, that was practice and then you go do gigs that kind of sounds fun it was really fun actually it was a lot of fun I got good at FIFA and then I haven't played FIFA in over a decade or two probably at this point <laughs> but back in the glory days of my young youth um, no that, that, it's, it's finding people that are like minded that's it and, um, and, and that you're going to have fun with that was the most important part yeah gotta have fun and if, if you can if you are if you're the audition me not the auditioner Man, find people who are better than you. If you play in a band where everyone is better than you, you will become so much better so quickly. And not, yeah, I, I agree. Cause I, I, I'm going to use not saying he's not, not better than all of them. Cause I think he's a phenomenal guitar player as well. But Dave Matthews Band, the fact that he he recruited like a band and formed one that like those guys are all they were all phenomenal in their craft. Yes. And it sort of brought Dave up as far as his playing and pushed it, it does. to other levels. And then he became one of sort of the best neo acoustic sort of pop rock performers and became this whole thing there's a there's a dave matthews channel on sirius xm you don't get that unless you've reached it some level may or may not be saved in baxter's car maybe i blame about. his wife it's right it's right it's right above the um <laughs> right after the fish well, no, channel. there's the fish the grateful dead then there's the tiktok hits and then there's the um there's the jam channel and then it's it goes so to dave strange. matthews and then it goes to npr oh yeah your pop and bbc channels. and then it goes to the country and then before that, I have a bunch of pop and pop rock stuff too. It's and very strange. It's strange to scan through. <laughs> it's classic rewinds <laughs> right before BBC as well. Yeah, I think it's true. right in there. I sort of it's a nice mix because you sort of go. We got the country, the pop, and the jam stuff. Yeah, it was That's, a nice. It was it nice. Did, it did. It worked you, after a while. You're like, oh, this is weird. We're listening to like TikTok hits, and then we're going to freaking Black Crows. <laughs> and then Don wants to listen to Twice Tom time. Petty. Yeah, all the time. What a loser. I know. Jeez, who? <laughs> <laughs> I got you there. Yeah, so um, uh, yo, I want to hear like stories about like, because I mean, there's so many funny stories. I mean, like about forming a band, like and being. I've been fired from bands. It's fun. Like even getting fired. I remember crying. I got fired when I was 16 from a band with a bunch of 30 year olds. I thought they were the oldest guys ever. Yeah, like, those old these guys men. Are so old. They, they they could have been older. They could be. I don't know. I just I'm gonna say 30. I don't know. I knew they were a lot older than me. They're at least 30. They could have been 40s, but. Once you're 30, when you're 16, it's, it might as well it be 55. Yeah, it's it just you're like, wow, these guys are so old, you know. And they totally fired me. I remember That's going funny. home crying. So you were 16, they were 30 something. But I, I was a pretty decent guitar player then, so yeah, like, they were like excited to have me. But then I, you know, I wasn't I wasn't the right fit for them though, because I was like a different age. They wanted right. to have guys they could drink and smoke with, and I was yeah. just showing up this little 16 year old. And I did a couple things with them, and I, I totally I would have fired me too. I remember it was like, it was just like school rock when I show up to practice and there's another guitar player there. <laughs> it's, it's like oh, awkward. I, and I just totally didn't understand. I didn't understand what was happening either at all. I was like oh cool. Are you gonna are you gonna play with us? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> kind of. This is gonna be great. We're gonna be best friends. He's gonna play with us is what they said. And I was like oh, they said mm -hmm. with a country accent. That was um that was my firing story. 
Let us know your adventures in band forming and go just form one. If you've never been to one and you're like a 40 year old, a 14 year old, a 50 or 67 year old, form a band. I mean, there really are no rules. Make a band, just have a band. And there's really nothing more fun than it once you have the right group. It is really fun. Like I, I, I'm I mean, you're probably gonna be a little drama because that's what bands do. But yes, overall, it is super fun. Yeah. It's not fun. Go find other people. It is. It, it does fun. get drama. It's even all the local bands here. Like it's funny when you hear like them like all cat calling out at each other, and that's not not cat calling. That's the wrong word. That's like like hey baby. That's, that's different. Hey, how you There's doing? Some of that too. But no, but like kind of like sniping at each other. I'm like you guys play at the the local crab and shack. Why are we having drama? It's, you guys have jobs, let's just have fun. Have a good time. Have a good time. Give us your stories, I'm out. There you go, hit us up in the comments, hit like and subscribe if you have not already, click that bell so you don't miss these conversations in the future. We shall see you next time.